Hi, this is Christian, and welcome back to NFL Update Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, conference championship game predictions. It's the AFC Championship game, and we have the upstart Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the New England Patriots. Now the Jaguars, no one expected them to come into Heinz and perform like they did. Some people predicted the upset with their tenacious defense, but no one thought they would put up 45 points in a big upset over Ben Roethlisberger, who had a pretty great game himself. And the Jaguars, well, they have one more win, and then if they win that, well, they'll be advancing to their first Super Bowl in franchise history. But in their way, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Now the Patriots, this is not going to be a typical cakewalk like they've had in the past. And I mean, of course, they've played the Steelers and the Broncos and also the Ravens in years past. But the Jaguars' defense is something that they've never seen before. I mean, of course, you have the Broncos who had a pretty great defense too. But and they were playing in Denver, so that was probably the toughest challenge. But Jacksonville coming into Gillette, well, they're not going to be scared. Jalen Ramsey and the crew have a lot of swag going on. And, I mean, the Patriots, they have a great offense, of course. They can put up 30 points on this defense, I could see. But right now, I think the big story is Blake Bortles. A lot of people were calling him quote-unquote trash, but he's actually been playing exceptionally well. Maybe not a lot of yardage, but he's been doing enough to win games. And in the clutch, and even on the ground, he's been able to make plays for this Jacksonville team that needs him to come through. And he hasn't thrown an interception too, which is very surprising. He's played efficient football and given his team a chance to win and advance to their first Super Bowl. Now, who will I pick for the AFC Championship game? Well, the Jacksonville Jaguars are hot, but the Patriots are really the safe pick in this one. They're at home. Tom Brady is usually dominant in these types of situations. But... When it's all said and done, I'm going to take the huge upset as the Jacksonville Jaguars will be advancing to their first Super Bowl in franchise history in the narrow game. It's the NFC Championship game. And we have the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Now before I begin, what a divisional round for the NFC. We had the Minnesota Vikings, a stunning finish. 10 seconds left, seemingly the Vikings were going to be out of the playoffs. And then Case Keenum threw an unbelievable pass to the sideline. A missed tackle by Marcus Williams, the safety for New Orleans. And Diggs took it to the house on a walk-off touchdown that's the first of its kind in the playoffs. An unbelievable finish. And for the Eagles, well, their finish wasn't too shabby either. A fourth down and goal stop against Matt Ryan and the Hot Falcons. And the Eagles were able to stun everybody. Even at home, they were an underdog, a team with Nick Foles. They hadn't been playing particularly well, but the Eagles showed heart. And that's what matters here in the playoffs as they take on a Minnesota Vikings team with a lot of momentum coming into this game. Now this ga game, well, I think it's going to come down to the defenses, of course. Nick Foles and Case Keenum have both showed that they can compete at a high level when the stakes are at its highest, but the defenses are really going to have to come up big. For the Vikings, they have a lot of great pieces on defense. Of course, they have Xavier Rhodes, Andrew Sandejo, I mean, their defensive line is ferocious with Everson Griffin and a bunch of others. And the Vikings offense, well, we saw Stephon Diggs, Adam Thielen come up with some huge clutch catches down the stretch. And for the Eagles, well, they're going to have to rely on their running game. If they can't get a good running game, then Nick Foles, I mean, I don't think he's going to be able to pass for 300 yards and be able to dominate this Minnesota secondary. So it's going to really come down to the running attack for the Eagles and for the Vikings. Just play sound defense, force the Eagles into a couple of field goals, and they can win. So who am I picking in this one to advance to Super Bowl 52? Well, the Eagles are at home, and it's a very tough game for me to pick. But ultimately, I think the Vikings have a lot more momentum right now, and they're going to edge out the Eagles to advance to Super Bowl 52 back in Minnesota.
let's take a look at the first X Factor for Championship Weekend. Coming in is the New England Patriots running back, James White. Now we already know how great the Jacksonville defense is, and I don't think the Patriots will be able to throw down the field. We saw the Steelers do it, but I'm sure the Jaguars will have that wrapped up for the next game. And so one thing I saw the Jaguars struggle in is a lot of check down throws, a lot of screen passes. I saw Vance McDonald and Le'Veon Bell catch a couple of short ones that went a long distance. And well, Brady, when he's in trouble getting pressured like he'll probably see on Sunday against Jacksonville, well, he'll need guys like Deion Lewis and this guy James White who has an abundance of postseason touchdowns as we've seen in this playoffs and also in the Super Bowl last year. If the Patriots are gonna, going to win this game, it's going to be James White coming up in the clutch. For the Jacksonville Jaguars to win this game, I'm looking at Keelan Cole. Now he's a deep ball threat and he caught a big deep bomb which helped the Jaguars to a 14 point lead as they held on for a 3 point lead in a 45 to 42 shootout. But Keelan Cole, well he's going to need to get past the New England defense which has struggled at times but has rebounded with a couple of solid games this year. And so Blake Bortles, well these little check down passes, slant patterns probably aren't going to beat New England. And so if Keelan Cole can get past the defense, then who knows, the Jacksonville Jaguars could be going to the Super Bowl. For the Minnesota Vikings, well how about Stephon Diggs, the divisional round hero? Now for Diggs, well this is pretty obvious, but the Vikings will need some big plays against the stout Eagles defense. The Eagles aren't going to lie down being at home, and this game could be a defensive struggle. And so if Diggs can break through like he did against the New Orleans Saints, then the Vikings will be in good shape. But if there's no deep plays, they're going to have to rely on the running game, then I think the Vikings could struggle. I mean, the Vikings do have two great running backs, but they really need big pass plays to Adam Thielen, Kyle Rudolph, and Diggs if they're going to come out victorious in this one. It's no secret that for the Eagles to win this, their path to success will rely on the running game. Jay Ajayi and LeGarrette Blount will need to be stout and have replicate their performance against the Atlanta Falcons if they're going to upset Minnesota and advance to Super Bowl 52. Now the Eagles are at home, should have a lot of momentum with their close win against the Atlanta Falcons, but Minnesota is arguably hotter after their unbelievable finish. And so if the Eagles can establish a ground game early to set up a play action pass for Nick Foles down the field to Nelson Aguilar and also Alshon Jeffrey, then I think the Eagles will be in great shape and could get this win. But if the running game isn't on point, they can't find the holes and Minnesota is there to stop it, well the Eagles could be in for a long day. For the divisional round weekend recap, it was the Jaguars over the Steelers 45 to 42 in a shootout, the Eagles over the Falcons 15 to 10, the Patriots over the Titans 35 to 14, and the Minnesota Vikings unbelievable win over the New Orleans Saints 29 to 24. Dylan and I both went 2 and 2 on our predictions this week. Cuz we've been putting in the mouth. We only taking what was ours